What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into the final issue of Astonishing Iceman. Issue number 5, closing out this story. We have found that Bobby, he really can't pull himself back together. After the attack at the Hellfire Gala, after Bobby was melted, he's finding it very difficult to reform. Luckily, his partner Romeo, using his powers, he has been able to help Bobby contain a form at least for a limited amount of time. And while he has been out there helping as many people as he can, Orcus has been tracking him, and they have sent in their big gun. They have sent in Mr. Clean. As this final confrontation unfolds, make sure that you guys have hit that sub button, make sure that you hit that notification bell, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, we pick up in Antarctica, current time. Romeo is bleeding on the ground. When Bobby returned thinking that he would find his beloved, what he found was catastrophe. Mr. Clean was able to get here first. Bobby begins to plea for Romeo's life telling Mr. Clean that he is no mutant, that you should let him go. But Mr. Clean doesn't care if somebody is a mutant, inhuman, or anything in between. He sees all of it as a plague. This is when Mr. Clean lets him know that the guy that he had saved back in Astonishing Iceman number 3, that guy had tagged him, lowjacked him, landed a plant on him. This allowed Mr. Clean to be able to track him back to Antarctica. This is where the fight begins. Mr. Clean being the first one to go in. Bobby counters with ice, but we quickly learn that Mr. Clean is modded out. He has enhanced himself, custom made to kill Iceman. He has heat barbs in his spine, insulated subdermal Kevlar, and a heart that is deadly as a sun. Not only that, he's got a weapon on his arm that is solar plasma. Now Bobby isn't too concerned. Mr. Clean isn't the first guy to try to come after him. In fact, all of these are old tricks. Stuff that Bobby has faced against before. But Mr. Clean believes that he is the first to do it right. That he will be the first to take Bobby down. As they battle, we see Bobby lose an arm and lose a leg. But with the help of Romeo, we see Mr. Clean thrown into a wall. Romeo breaking his focus, giving Bobby an opportunity. This is when something comes out of Mr. Clean's head and the energy that reverberates out. It blows Bobby back. That's when Romeo is able to stand up and he straight up knocks him for a loop. But Romeo doesn't have much more than that in his tank. At this point, Bobby is ready for Romeo to get out of the line of danger. He tells Romeo that he's gonna have to reform himself, that he has been practicing. And so for this fight, he isn't going to need Romeo. Opening up the ice beneath his feet, we see Romeo disappear underground. Bobby did all of this so he could bring down the freaking house. With Romeo out of the line of danger, the entire fortress comes down. Bobby is left in pieces, but he is able to get up and reform himself. Though he will admit that putting himself back together is much harder without Romeo. As we see Mr. Clean coming up out of the ice, his face torn to bits. We see that this guy is not even really human anymore at this point. He is becoming more robotic, more cyborg than anything else. But Mr. Clean lets Bobby know that his nerves are modded. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't go into shock. His wounds will only slow him down, but he can use this body until it completely breaks down. Deciding to tear himself apart, we see him burst into flames. A Hail Mary pass to try and take out himself and Bobby, because his systems run on a plasma reactor. Right now, it is melting down. No matter what, Mr. Clean planned on winning this fight, one way or another. This is when we have the detonation. Exploding like a miniature sun, as Orcus observes, they lose all contact. They don't know the fate of Mr. Clean or Bobby. They assume that Mr. Clean is dead considering the detonation. But now it is simply a matter of waiting to see if Bobby emerges again. To see if he pops up anywhere in the world. This is where we pick up some days later. Romeo not sure if Bobby ever made it out alive. But as he is getting up for the day, he sees that there's some frost all over. Thinking that it's a little bit early for frost. When he goes into the bathroom, what he sees is a written message saying, See you soon. Love, Bobby. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Not a bad run. Definitely not the best run. 
there's some major inconsistencies when it comes to Iceman's powers. Now, we know that he was hit by Orcus pretty much on the cellular level, and Romeo has been helping him reform. Now, Bobby's been practicing, but they never go in to explain exactly how this affected Bobby, how it is able to keep an Omega down like this. And this last issue shows Bobby being able to reform relatively easy. He goes on to talk about him not needing to be scared anymore, as if his own fear is keeping him from reforming. Again, something that they really didn't elaborate on. So we really don't understand how Bobby's powers are malfunctioning in such a manner. Is the device that Orcus used still affecting him, or is this all subconscious? Is this all in his mind? It is rather disappointing to see Bobby in such a state. He is supposed to be an Omega level mutant. And while I was able to get behind what happened at Orcus, he shouldn't have this much trouble trying to reform. After all of the feats that we have seen him do over the last two years, I find it hard to believe that Bobby is having such trouble reforming. In my opinion, Bobby should be one of the biggest instrumental weapons currently fighting against Orcus. But the truth is, like most other mutants, he's going out and saving one individual at a time. And that's partly because his powers are so limited right now. Though I think limited, it's relative. We have seen him form a whole bunch of snowmen. We have seen him do crazy feats, even with Romeo helping him stay in form. You know, this has been my biggest complaint of the fall of X is that we saw the fall, but it's taking mutant kind, taking the individuals so long to get back up on their feet. Whether it be Nightcrawler, whether it be Bobby, we got a whole handful of individuals that aren't actually taking the fight to Orcus. Now, we could argue that this is because they lack leadership, that without the guidance of individuals like Charles Xavier, though I wouldn't, I wouldn't really take his guidance currently, but without some guidance from anybody, there's not much going on here. Heck, even Sink and them aren't really doing much. I would say that Shadowcat is doing the most out of anybody and Wolverine. Now, hopefully things are going to turn around for Bobby. Hopefully they might explain what is actually going on with his powers. But when it comes to the fall of X, this really felt more like a filler. It didn't do much for Bobby. It didn't do much for the story. It didn't really do anything at all except introduce Mr. Clean which was an absolutely ridiculous villain to begin with. I think my biggest issue with it is after everything we have seen Bobby do, he didn't really do much in this series at all. But I'm hoping that when Bobby returns, things are going to be a little bit different. They're going to be a little bit better. And we might actually see him take the fight to Orcus. With the rise and fall just on the horizon, I'm hoping that they bring something to the table. Because so far, the fall of X hasn't been as good as I thought it would be. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything that has been going on with Iceman. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.